I will be showing you how I have decorated or painted some of my pots whatever the materials that I have used here for my painting they are the old uh, paint that was going to dry out after my house painting was done I have not purchased anything for this purpose but so each planter I have tried out different types of painting uh, I have also used some waste material to decorate them in some of the plants as you can see now so the first one orange and white the next one planter as you can see I really like this the pink and green and black this design I have given next you can see this aloe vera and this orange and white planter and this is my all time favorites this is a 5 liter oil can which I have cut open the front portion of it and I have made it as a planter putting some holes underneath and I have put this decorative plant in this you can see how lovely he looks he gives a lot of beauty to my balcony next this is it is not very clear it's the white and pink decoration that I have done to this plant here you can see I have used the based pistachio shells to decorate this particular planter which is with the euphobia here you can see she is my all time favorite she is my sleeping beauty I have put up a pot underneath made it upside down and uh, dripped some white paint on teal color and I have decorated it like that on top of it I have put the sleeping beauty with the phyllodendron and she is my all time favorite she gives a beautiful look to my entire balcony here you can see the white and the pink painting here and the next one as you can see these small rings I have used the abacus toy so I don't have a full set of it so I thought I can put it here this particular version of my painting you have already seen in one of my YouTube videos next comes a pistachio shell again colorful pistachio which I have stuck my daughter has helped me in sticking these she likes to do this so I actually seek her help here I tried out a silver colored three different form of uh, painting the spot here you can see this I and drawn again I have dripped some paint on it and it looks very different next you can see the silver and blue this is a typical flower painting and this was the first pot that I painted maybe four years back here you can see this is a DIY shell pot that I have made I will show you how it looks this is a DIY shell planter that I have made next you can see this football planter which I purchased from ugao.com ugao.com has a lot of uh, beautiful planters especially the ceramic planters very different varieties the next one this I have planted with teal and yellow and this is also my favorite and this was done nearly four years back and yet another favorite planter of mine is this boot planter which I just purchased from the roadside yeah. next this is a different variety of painting that I tried out a kind of a swirl painting 
with orange and white and see how beautiful this plant looks in this pot the next is the regular pot the yellow plastic pot in which i have put up the spider as you can see this particular planter stand is very very sturdy and good and uh, i got it from amazon you keep even heavy pots on this and see how lovely it looks this planter gives a very beautiful look to my whole balcony and the next plant i have not painted anything it's just left as it is with cream colored paint next this is a ceramic planter which i again got from a street vendor this was in fact a pear and the other pear i put it in my other balcony with a hibiscus plant growing in it um, you can see the finger painting fingerprints into it one of my next favorite is this this planter this is a pear for my sleeping beauty which you saw some time back she is a sleeping beauty and he is the handsome man in my balcony you can see how i have dripped paint into it this is basically the glass paint which i have dripped into this pot and see how beautiful it looks with the eyes and nose and mouth and all that here the aloe vera plant with a simple orange and cream color aloe planter here you can see this wind chime hanging around i don't have much space to hang it up so i have put this here right at the entrance of my balcony here you can see this wire vine see the way i have decorated this spot with red and yellow this is a very simple technique but will look really great this again a uh, crayon box which i have used it for this purpose again the same variety but with the uh, blue and yellow and light green here i tried out a different type of painting and it came out quite okay this is a planter which i got online two pairs one is this purple and the other is this yellow and here i have not left any space empty i had a lot of plants to keep and i don't have much space so i have just made use of these two ac outlet um, also to keep my pots you can see i have made a shell diy here i will show you how it looks my shell diy this is just a small uh, piece of wood where i have hung some thread on top in different lengths and i have stuck some shells these dots were you know done by my daughter so it's not so perfect but she tried her best to do it and on top i have placed this lovely planter white and pink same dripping method this is the overall look of one of the sides of my balcony So 
to decorate your balcony with least maintenance plants you can go for these plants and you can also replant them very very easily and keep your balcony very lovely and colorful like how i have done and if at all you have any any uh, waste material with you we can always use those items to put it on our pots and make them look very very different for that so thanks for watching my video and please give a thumbs up if you like this and uh, share it with your friends who like to have plants in their balcony and also don't forget to subscribe to g6 creations for more such videos